Today we are reviewing subtracting integers. We're going to be using the concept of zero pairs. We're also going to be um, really using the what we learned yesterday with adding integers as well because the key thing to subtracting integers is to change every subtraction problem into an addition problem. Okay. Make sure you know how to use concrete models like number lines and counters uh, in order to do this process as well. Make sure you are reviewing the vocabulary. There will be a quiz. There are 17 questions we need or words we need to understand. Now, this is review. This video here will review how to uh, solve subtracting with integers problems so make sure that you go back and look at this if you have forgotten how to do this the key phrase that I've talked about a little bit earlier is to subtract an integer you add its opposite and that's called um, additive inverse and we're gonna be talking about that in just a moment here's an example so if you have the question 6 minus 9 we're gonna change that to the equivalent expression of 6 plus negative 9 and with negative 9 having a larger absolute value the answer will be negative 9 minus 6 is 3 so the answer is negative 3. This video will show you what that looks like uh, using counters so please watch that. Another example if you were to subtract negative 12 from negative 10 you're going to change that to adding the opposite. And if you add the opposite, the opposite of negative 12 is positive 12. So negative 10 minus negative 12, if you subtract a negative, it becomes a positive. So 12 having a greater absolute value, the answer will be positive. 12 minus 10 is 2. Please watch this video to show what that looks like as counters. Now remember, every grade you get because we are in the review process will be a grade in the grade book so if you don't do well on this ed puzzle you may request and send me a message to reset it and then there will be a daily quiz that you will take and that grade also will be put in the grade book but you can retake that uh, to improve your score uh, as you would like um, extra credit please make sure to go do Imagine Math and or Imagine Math Facts to get extra credit points as well. Okay, let's go ahead and do some practice problems together. Okay, so please get a pencil and paper. When we take our STAR test this year, you will not be given a booklet to write directly on the page with the word problem. The word problem will be on the computer. So you're going to write your notes and do all of your uh, work and show all your work on a piece of notebook paper uh, in order to find the right answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and read the problem. A team gained five yards on their first play of the game. Then they lost six yards to find the total. Uh, then it's asking us to find the total change in yardage. Okay, so if you gain yards, is that positive or negative? Answer that, please. Very good is positive, so I'm going to go ahead and write plus 5, or I could just write positive 5, either way. All right, so that was important. And then it says they lost five, uh, lost 6 yards, so I'm going to underline that. If you lose yards during a football game, is that going to be a positive or negative number? Very good, that is actually a subtraction situation. So if you have positive 5 minus 6. In order to solve this problem, we're going to change this into an addition problem. That is equivalent to 5 plus. Now, if you take away 6 positive yards, what is the opposite of positive 6? Very good. So the actual problem is going to be 5 plus negative 6. Now, which one of these numbers has a greater absolute value? Which one is farther away from zero? Five or negative six? That's right, negative six. So the answer is going to be negative. So if I take negative six 
and I add a positive 5 in my mind, I'm thinking about this on a number line, here's negative 6. If I go this direction towards 0 and the positive number line, if I go that, that direction uh, 5 spaces, what am I going to land on? Very good. The answer is negative 1. So what's the total yardage uh, that they uh, made? And that, unfortunately, is negative 1 yard. Okay, for our next pr uh, practice problem, it says the average temperature in Calgary, Canada is 22 degrees Celsius in July and negative 11 degrees Celsius in January. Find the range of the highest and lowest temperatures in Calgary. Okay, so an important word that we need to underline here, it says for us to find the range. Okay, in order to find the range, what operation do we do? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? That's correct. We're going to take the greatest value and subtract the least value. So the greatest value is going to be 22 degrees. And we're going to subtract the least value, which is negative 11. Okay, so what is the equivalent expression? If I change this into an addition problem, when we subtract integers, we add the opposite. Okay, so 22 plus what number? What is the opposite of negative 11? Very good. That is positive 11. So what is 22 plus 11? That's correct. The answer is 32 degrees. Okay. So if that doesn't make sense to you, here's my positive 22. Here's 0. Here's the negative 11. And the range... 11 is the absolute value to get to 0, and 22 is the absolute value to get to 22. This is the range. This is the difference between these two. 11 plus 22 is 33, and that is the correct answer. Okay, for our final practice problem today, it says Sonia has $235 in her savings account, and she withdraws $45. What is left in her savings account? Okay, so what operation would we do to withdraw $45? Exactly. That is a subtraction problem. So we have $235 to start with, and we are going to subtract $45. Okay. This is a pretty standard thing that we have known how to do for quite a long time, but if we do want to go ahead and write the additive inverse for this, we're going to say $235 plus, what is the opposite of positive 45? Very good. That is going to be negative 45. All right. So we can just go ahead and think about this in the standard way, though. So we learned this early on in elementary school. I want you guys to go ahead and subtract $45 from $235, and what would you get? Answer that for me, please. Very good. You are going to get $190 left in the bank account. All right. So we've done some practice problems together. If you did not answer these questions well, please send me a message so I can reset this video for you to retake it. Uh, please do your very best on the daily um, quick check. That grade will also be going to the grade book. If you don't do as well as you'd like to, that can be retaken as many times as you need to to improve your scores. All of these grades will be averaged together and will go into the gradebook. Please come to Math Help. Please come to class. We're getting ourselves ready not only for 7th grade, but also we're going to be taking a STAR test to see how much we've learned and to give our 7th grade teachers information on how they can help us next year as well. Thank you.